Election day has come and gone, and although here in Atlanta, we have one major race that won't be decided until next month. Joining me now is Chuck Todd, moderator of NBC's Meet the Press. Chuck, Senator Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker are headed to a runoff, which means another election for Georgia voters. Now, it's possible this race will decide control of the Senate. So uh, will that be the ultimate factor in turnout, you think, or does that benefit either candidate? Yeah, Jennifer, I think the only way, I, I think Walker's best chance at winning this runoff is if it is for something bigger than just the Senate seat. If it is for Senate control, it is a chance for Republicans to rally, regroup, sort of similar to how Democrats, you know, people forget the last runoffs, Democrats, other than Biden winning the presidency, everything else didn't go so well for Democrats down the ballot. They didn't win these Senate seats they were hoping to win. They came up short. Georgia, all of a sudden, they got this shock. Oh, wow, look at this. We got runoffs. And then the, 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 the two-month environment sort of improved for Democrats, and it rallied them, and they went out there, and it, was, it, was, it, it seemed like it was for something bigger than just those seats. If, if, Dem if this is not for Senate control, I, I am persuaded that Walker's going to have a harder time getting voters to come out than Warnock. And if you look at past runoffs in Georgia when there wasn't Senate control at stake, which is every other runoff except for the last ones that we had, um, it was usually advantage incumbent for the most part. Um, it, a little harder for the, if the challenger came up short, and the general a little harder to, 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 to sort of rally the troops one more time. So um, I really think Walker really needs this to be for Senate control. If Senator Warnock wins, that will be one bright spot for Georgia Democrats who really took a beating in the statewide races here from governor all the way they down sure the did. ticket. Chuck, as both Republicans and Democrats look back on this election, what was the key here? Was it messaging or the messengers? I think the key was Brian Kemp, uh, thro Brian Kemp and Brad Raffensperger throttling Trump challengers. And it gave them a different persona and it allowed them to run really as more pre-Trump conventional Republicans. And I, look, I am not convinced Georgia is a battleground state in a normal political environment. I think Donald Trump makes Georgia a battleground state. And so when you look at it, who was the candidate most closely aligned with Donald Trump? Herschel Walker. Those that weren't closely aligned, they won quite handily. Meet the governor in his second term. Meet the secretary of state. So... I do think this is why I think Democrats need to grab this because they they better be glad that they've got another couple of years before the, any of the Senate seats are up again because I think this is a state that looks like it's back to its sort of lean Republican ways if Trump does not interfere. And that that is one thing I took away from these from from these Georgia results is oh wait Georgia looks a lot like what Georgia looked like before Trump came on the scene. Just something for Democrats to consider. It certainly is. Nationally, though, Republicans did not get the red wave they wanted. And next week, we await that big announcement from former President Donald Trump. So what's the feeling mm -hmm. among national Republicans on this midterm and the possibility of Trump in 2024? Well, look, it, it, you know, I, I, I'm having some flashbacks to the period right after January 6th and the period right after the Access Hollywood tape. Donald Trump has never seemed politically weaker inside the party. It does seem as if, if you did a, uh, if you did a secret ballot of Republican leaders, Trump wouldn't get much support. Um, but we've been down this road before, and Trump has sort of bullied his way into the picture. Uh, nobody is asking for Trump to run, but I understand from Trump's point of view why he's getting in early, because the more he stays off the sidelines, the more. Republicans will get more comfortable trying to keep him on the sidelines. So I think that this is what's good for Trump isn't necessarily good for the party, but I think that's why he's announcing early next week. Time will tell, Chuck. Thank you so much. Meet the Press airs Sunday at 10 a.m. right here on 11 Alive. Chuck, thank you so much.